When Mike Moo here, today is the first day of the REI Labor Day sale and clearance. This is a once a year sale specifically around Labor Day. REI does have a bunch of other sales going on through, through most of the year for every major season, but Labor Day does tend to be one of the better sales that goes on. Now, I do post a lot of videos about REI sales. I am an REI affiliate. If you are interested in purchasing anything, I'd appreciate if you use my link. And it's right there on the screen, also QR code, and also down in the description. This year's Labor Day sale prices end on September 4th. Let's get from today, which is August 25th, all through September 4th. I think one of the better things to get right now during this Labor Day sale is the Yakima and Thule set. So the car racks, boxes, and accessories are up to 20% off. So I'm going to go ahead and start there because this is something that uh, some of us have wished that we had purchased in an earlier sale, which is pretty much the summer sale or something that uh, started a little bit earlier because now's the time to do all the camping trips and everything and go outside. Summer is over for some of us, but maybe next time you want to be prepared. So it's generally a 20% off. And now it is non-exclusive to REI. There's going to be other retailers that also have this stuff on sale for about 20% off in general. Now, the reason why you get it at REI is because REI is just awesome. Okay. You basically have a full satisfaction guarantee. So if you guys know Costco, I'm also a big fan of Costco, REI is like Costco. You have a one-year satisfaction guarantee. You use it, you decide you don't like it. As an REI member, now it's important to be an REI member, you have up to a year. REI membership only costs $30. It's something you should really should consider if you at all like anything outdoors because REI is the destination to get some of the best gear for outdoors, backed by great customer service and awesome satisfaction policy. All right, so here are some of the deals. I would say that this is a really good bike rack. It's pretty heavy. That's why it has wheels. $639.89 is generally whenever it's on sale. This is about as far as it gets. Really, that's just the gist of it. I would just say that I've tried this before. I think it's really excellent. It is heavy. I've switched on to another Thule version, mostly because when you get this one, you can expand it to up to four bikes for an additional price up to maybe about a thousand dollars but this is generally a very good solid bike hitch rack and i do recommend it there is also the stage two two bike hitch rack i've not tried this one but this one's obviously by yakima it's a different set so if you're looking to get into a set you should probably either choose between Thule and yakima in general those are the two of the best name brands out here there's also kuat but then Kuat primarily does snowboarding and skiing stuff, and their bike racks for the cars are actually very good. They're very premium. They're also very expensive. But with Yakima and Thule, you get a whole system. And what do I mean by that? Here's one thing. Uh, I have switched over to the Thule system primarily, and that's because uh, I have this one right here, the Easy Fold XT2 bike hitch rack. It's excellent. It's really lightweight. It looks and feels a little bit flimsier, but it is actually really solid, and they do charge a premium price for it. The reason why I say system is because their parts are designed to work interchangeably in a lot of cases. So with the Thule system, I can switch on and get one key for all of my Thule gear. And that is oftentimes what I have tried, attempted to do. Unfortunately, I didn't purchase enough key cores. Same thing with the Yakima system. You see right here, you have this little hole there, and that is allowed to that allows you to put in a locking key core in there to lock your stuff down. So you can also get Yakima key core locks that work with all your all your Yakima gear. But one big thing with the Yakima, which I really like, I like their innovation here, is they have the XO system, and that is also on sale now, 20% off. This only happens maybe twice a year. And the Labor Day sale is one of those times where you probably want to get one because it is on sale, 20% off. So the Exo Swing Base system is something I'm considering. Unfortunately, it means switching to a different system. That's because it's modular and expandable. 
So you get you start out with a swing base here. Okay, you can attach other things like this cargo box. Now it's modular, but it's going to be very expensive. So the swing base is on sale at four seventy one nineteen at twenty percent off. Then with the swing base, you only get the swing base. You got to add on the things that you want to do. So if you want a bike rack thing, you got to get the separate bike rack, right, to put on top of the swing base. If you want the cage here, you can put that on there as well. Here's so it's basically for multi-sport, multi-use. Probably never going to use that. I don't even remember. But see, you can add something called a top shelf, which is this piece right up here, which allows you to do dual layers. So as you can see, this person here is having a nice little uh, cookout here. He's cutting some apples here on this table, which is the whole system. This is called the top shelf. You got the bottom, and then this is the cargo box. You got a cargo box on the bottom. You put the table on top here. It just snaps in place really quickly. There's no screws really involved when you're attaching these things. And that's what's great about this. And you can lock them down too. So you can see top shelf. They got the bikes up top. Cargo box down below. It's great. Or you have different configurations here. So that's one reason why you might want to choose the Yakima system. is because of this versatility that you have here. Now, I have yet to see someone out using out of these, using these out in the wild. And so I'm really curious about this. So if you guys have this system, I'd be really interested to find out what you think about it. But it's on sale right now, 20% off. And I, the reason why you can return these things, you try it out, you don't like it. I've seen some people have these return. You can pick these up at the garage sale that they have. It used to be called the garage sale. Now it's called resupply. And I just wish that I could talk to the people, try this and say, hey, what didn't work out and why did you decide to return it, right? One thing I can tell you, one reason why is these things are so expensive. So with 20% off, this is really the best time to get into a new system or a system like this and maybe sell your old system. So I don't know. I like and appreciate the information and the versatility that they provide in here, but I'd really like to get some more real world reviews on this stuff, as you can see. Four stars over here, two stars on the warrior wheel. So you can get the cage here, right here, which goes on top of this. And then you can attach the wheels on here. Okay, so really versatile. But all these things add up. It's very pricey. Anything related to a lot of outdoors things gets really pricey. But I think, I believe that these things do come with a lifetime warranty. That's right. Lifetime warranty. Note that these don't fit on trailers, campers, or RVs, and it's only for class three and class four hitches only. So if you're interested in getting something like this, you're gonna need at least a class three hitch, which makes sense with all the stuff that you're gonna put on here. And not only that, they've added some sort of outdoor kitchen thing, which I thought was really cool, but also very expensive. For someone like me, I'm just gonna piecemeal it and try out different pieces and build it up time by time. But if you really want to try the whole system right now is the time because 20% off almost everything that they have with related to these cargo boxes and things to get everything set up on here. One thing I wish that they had on here was the Kamek Crosswing. I don't believe they have it. Once it's here, I think it's something that you guys should really consider. I think they make the best, like the absolute best awnings. It's not here. No point in pointing it out, but if you're looking for an awning for your vehicle, I think Kamek has the best one. And they have a whole bunch of these other awesome things. They started out making the hammocks, which are 30% off. Really good. Okay, so those are really good prices. That's about as hot, as cheap as it goes, as far as Kamek, the brand, is concerned here on REI, as far as the sales that I've seen so far. And I've been tracking these for a while. So really decent stuff. Hammock's really great for the summer. So this is a Swiftlet hammock stand, which is basically a really portable one. So that, that's on sale. Okay, so I think that's the one thing. If you're considering going out car camping, you're overlanding, off-road, etc. Thule, Yakima, sales going on. Best time to get it. I wish that they sold more of these package fours because four is typically not enough and you want them all keyed the same, right? 
So that that's one negative about what ha REI has going on over here is they don't sell the ones that are keyed the same. Let's say you get the whole system, you probably want 16 keys. So that's a bit, oh, here it is. Dexo Open Range Deluxe. Look at that. That's pretty cool, but I don't know if it's a thousand dollars cool. But you can imagine if you are just going, you're doing a road trip across the country, going to different campsites. You want something quick, easy to set up, all in one box system. You just attach this to your top shelf, your Yakima system. You open the door, take out the stove, boom, you're you're set. You you have all the kitchen stuff this is even the this is the basic deluxe version i think they have one that's even more deluxe than this that includes even more but this is really cool it's like an all-in-one box you don't have to build it out it's designed to attach directly to the top shelf of in the back of the yakima exo system as you can see here expand all these things out and boom you have a kitchen already with all your stuff here Lantern, all the accoutrements that you need for a basic thing for what appears to be two people and potentially two guests. You've got four plates, etc. All in here in one nice little box that is outside. I just wish it weren't so expensive, but that's the way these things are. Anything really cool in outdoors, you're typically going to pay a lot more, so why not get at least the 20% uh, off? Okay, let's look at the other stuff here. They also, Yakima also has an outdoor shower system. I've done a separate video about this, comparing the shower system versus the other ones and why I ended up ultimately not using the road shower. But now they have a hitch mount that you can attach your road shower to. So you can attach it to the back of your vehicle in the front right here. I think it's the Exo road shower adapter kit. So you get the whole Exo system. You can attach it here, the four gallon to the back, as well as a bunch of other things. I think the four gallon you can attach to the back. Try and attach a 10 gallon or seven gallon in the back is not gonna make sense. But yeah, I did a video about this. I took it out, tried it out. These are built like bomb proof because this is all metal construction all around. I think all aluminum construction. See, here's some, here's, here's some examples of the way you could use it. So you can have hot shower putting it in the sun. These things were really hard to find during the pandemic when everyone is trying to go outdoors. But now supply chain has caught up. It's available now. Do the ship to store and just pick it up at the store because these things are really big and the oversized shipping fees apply. These are the times to get it. This really is the time to get it and get these things that you want to attach to your car and get just get out there, get outside, enjoy yourselves, enjoy life outdoors. Okay, so let's go look at some of the other sale items. Labor Day sale. Oh. Here's in general what you get. REI branded co-op clothing and gear, usually good enough. Typically not the best there is, but typically good value for your money. Same thing with their camping and hiking gear that is REI co-op brand stuff. What a lot of you guys don't realize is that a lot of their products are actually made in the same factories as the more premium brands like Arcteryx. And a lot of them are made in Viet the Vietnamese textile. Uh, textiles are all there. They're all made and sewn over in Vietnam. So you get a lot of the quality of it, but you don't have to pay the super higher price. And that's what's great about REI Co-op. However, from what I have seen of the REI Co-op brand clothing and gear, is that it doesn't quite meet the highest end of the products, but also the prices aren't there. They aren't charging you the highest end in most of their products. I think already I had an event pair of pants that I tried and they're expensive, but you do get what you pay for and you do get a better value than when you purchase it from one of the other bigger name brands. It's like one of those things. What's great is, oh, what I advise is if there's something that you see that is on sale, you put it in your cart, you order it for pickup, etc. Because they do sell out of stuff. A lot of the popular items, they do start to sell out, especially a lot of the popular sizes. And since this sale goes on through September 5th, you, even though the pricing's still there, sometimes the sizes are not available. 
And granted, there's almost nothing that you absolutely need to get. Like the hiking outdoor gear like this. You don't need to spend $73 to have a good time outdoors. You really don't. These a lot of most of these things are nice to have. Okay. I'm you know, I'm, I'm talking about in general in clothing, because most of us don't go all four seasons. We're not risking our life and limb going outdoors and serious stuff. We're doing basically camping. You're not doing excessive outdoors, Appalachian Trail, whatever. And if you are, you know, this get it. Get the better gear. A lot of times I do get a lot of my outdoor gear from Costco, and I love it. I save a lot of money on it. But every once in a while, you come in here, you wait for the sales, you, you get the piece that you really want, and that, so that's going to last you at a lifetime as long as you take care of your, your stuff. And so that's something that I suggest, and that's why I only really shop at REI when sales like this come on. Okay, REI co-op brand gear, great stuff. A lot of times it's a copy of the brand name stuff. Let's see what's going on in the camping and hiking gear real quick. Basically everything across the board here. There are 1,298 different products that you can get. And look, 25% off, 30% off, really good. Something else I should mention too is as an REI member, you get 10% cash back on non-sale items. So everyday regular priced items, 10% back, okay, in a form of REI cash. And that tends to add up if you shop at REI a lot or you get participate in the REI class. I believe you also get 10% back on those as well. So it's a really good time to, I think, just to go outside. Just do it while you can. That there's not a bad deal. $86.93, 50% off aluminum folding picnic table. Go out to parks a lot. If you go out to parks a lot and or, or parties on the weekends, you'll find that a lot of picnic tables are often taken up. How about you bring your own? $86.93. You don't have to go out there and reserve uh, the spot as long as it's open and there's a lot of open field space available. You don't have to go out and reserve the thing. You just bring a couple of picnic tables. Now, it looks small to me. We'll sit four people, but you're going to be really close to them. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, at least you got a picnic table. That's not bad for 50% for off $86.93. I think that's one of the lowest prices that I've seen for something like this. Which is good. This is a nice clone of a really expensive Helinox version of the chair, which is easily twice the amount of money. Nothing against Helinox. I think a lot of the products are innovative. But maybe their patent ran out or they don't have a patent on it and REI has figured out how to make a, make a cheaper one. I haven't seen a lot of a lot of people using Swiss Army knives lately. A lot of people tend to use the Leathermans here. Oh, REI outlet. I forgot to mention. It should be pretty obvious when you get on the page, but you get an extra 20% off everything in the REI outlet. I think, yeah, extra 20% off. Labor Day 20. Make sure you put the code in, and you obviously got to be a member. As I mentioned before, you should be a member. So that's the whole REI outlet site. So it looks like just practically everything is available on sale that you need to go outdoors for the camping and hiking deals. I think it's because we're just getting closer to the end of the season. That's why. Which still makes it a great time to go get it. And what I have been more interested in, why I, I don't do a lot of running, it's bad for my knees, is the bike, cycling, clothing, and accessories deals. Because I'm doing a lot more biking now. I'm getting right back into it, and I'm really enjoying it. And whenever I can, I try not to take the car. I just take the bike. And I've been trying to get my wife to do the same thing too. So we've been trying a lot of different e-bikes. Got some, e got some bikes from REI, and we've been riding them. Some of them haven't quite worked out for me or us. And... 
that's what's great about REI is it doesn't work out. Any reason whatsoever, take it back. And REI has been great about it. I generally don't like returning things. You, when you're spending so much for bikes, you really want to get something that you're going to be happy and comfortable with. Okay, I'm going to take a look at the most popular best-selling deals from here, and we'll take a look to see what's going on. Okay, best-selling. Interesting, a $4,000 electric mountain bike. I guess that makes sense. Look, you save 32%. That is a huge discount. But I have actually looked into this just the day before this, basically since yesterday, and the sale's still going on. This is a Cannondale sale. That's why it ends September 11th. That's Cannondale's own promotion. And you save 32% on a great electric mountain bike. Now, it's not carbon fiber. You're not going to get it for that price. But, but yeah, if you have trails near you and you're allowed to take a class one, this is a class one mountain bike. This is not a motorcycle, just FYI. It's class one, which means it's pedal assist up to 20 miles per hour. This is a Shimano motor though, but it has plenty of motor torque. 85 Newton meters is more than enough to get you up those hills. And it has up to travel up front with rock shocks. And back, so you're going to be climbing up like a mountain goat. So yeah, that's really great. It even comes with a drop receipt post on here. What do you expect for four grand or something that used to cost six grand? I've never ridden a $4,000 electric mountain bike before. I'm just kind of curious. Those of you guys that ride these, let me know what you think. Is it worth it? What I see a lot around my town is those Talaria and Surons. They're around the same price as this electric mountain bike, except it's not a bike. It really is a motorbike. I think a lot of these Saron people and Talaria XXX people that ride around on the trails are what's causing a lot of our local government officials and state park people to just say, hey, look, we're not going to let electric mountain bikes. So it ruined it for a lot of us. And I mentioned that because I tried to ride one up in just north of me, I think over in Mountain View or Palo Alto, in Palo Alto. And a ranger came up and said, hey, I don't know if you know this, which I didn't, but we're not going to allow anything electrified on our trails. She said they're not enforcing it. I was really disappointed. Uh, but yeah, I, I went there to test out a, an electric bike, a fat tire electric bike. And I was told that it's no longer allowed on the trails, even though the ranger says they're not enforcing it. They just wanted me to know. And she said, hey, don't shoot the messenger. She doesn't necessarily agree with that. And anyway, so that, that kind of messed it up for us. So really, it comes down to finding a place where you can ride one of these. Keep that in mind. I'm here in California, Northern California more specifically. And there are definitely more regulations about this, which is the reason why I haven't considered getting one. As nice as this is, it's still four grand. Okay, so that's that. The co-op cycles E1.1 and 1.2, these are fantastic especially for the price. Here's the thing, though. These things were, were recently $150 cheaper. So unfortunately, these are still a great deal. Don't get me wrong. $1,139. This is also for... These are also Class 1 bikes. They have a quasi-cadence sensor that's better than normal cadence sensors. And not quite full on the torque sensors that, that you get when you pay a lot of money for a bike like this. If you got a full on torque sensor from a name brand bike company, this would be easily twice as much as what I'm saying. Two to three times as much. And I'll point something like that out. But for this, this is a really great deal. Not as good deal as last month when I posted about this or I talked about, I did that video where this is the best name brand electric bike you can get for $1,000, less than $1,000. And this one was for $800. This one was for $1,000. I'm sorry, guys. If you're looking at this right now, you already missed out. But this is still a great deal. 40% off practically for both of these bikes. And if you are more interested in information about this, you should check out that particular video and consider getting yourself one of these or two of these. Actually, one of the biggest regrets that I, that of the information that I got from other people was they regretted not buying two. 
one for the wife and one for themselves. And the big difference between these two that you might want to consider if you want a little bit more comfort, get the 1.1. Okay, it's got a little bit less range because it's got a smaller battery and it doesn't have that front rack. Get the 1.2 if you want a little bit more range. Don't care for the front shock suspension because there is none on here. There is one here. But you get a front rack here and a bigger battery. That's what it comes down to and a different color. So if you must have the orange, get that. Personally, I like the blue and I like the golden hour. That's, I think they look pretty quirky and special. And... I actually personally wish that we went and tried this one. Unfortunately, what I did was I picked up a City E 2.2 for my wife because that is a full-on torque sensor. It is very smooth, and she does get to exercise with it, and that's actually what we've been riding around. Okay, so these are the top three selling e-bikes right now that are under the cycling deals, which I'm actually a little bit surprised. So apparently people have four grand or something to lie around or they know what an awesome deal this is, the Neo 4. Neo 5 is a little bit of a step down. I think for the money, I think when I was looking at this for the money, you should just spend the extra $300 and get the Neo 4. I think that's what I remember, especially since the discount there is higher, 32%. So I think you get more bang for your buck with the Neo 4. Now, Neo 3 is another bigger jump up, and that is an extra $1,000, and I don't know, but that's carbon. I, th I think it switches to carbon once it gets up to another $1,000. So once it gets to $5,000, it's a carbon fiber frame. But for an e-bike, I don't know if you need that. For an e-bike, uh, I think you save a little bit, not that much. It's just you get better componentry in a carbon fiber frame. This is best selling for a reason. That's good. Of course, the Yakima, ooh, 40% off. That's not bad. Hold up evil two bike. Two bike hitch rack. The thing with these is if you are getting an e bike, this is not going to work for you. So you're going to have to pay a little bit more and get one of the higher end models. This will handle e bikes. I believe up 60 pounds. Same thing here, which is what I use it for. An e bike up to 60 pounds each. This is a very nice one. One of the higher end ones, I mean, for six grand. It's the price of a nice used Honda. This is a long travel one. I, I guess I'm not going to say too much about this, other than that the fact that Cannondale and, and REI Co op have some really nice, decent bikes here for sale. So you can see so there's some other ones. The co op cycles here are also on sale, generally 20% off. They generally don't get much higher than that. 20 to 25% off unless they are completely clearing them out. And then you, it's really, you got to go in a shop and see what they might have. And they're going to be like really much older bikes that somehow they found older inventory to be able to put those out for sale. Now the clothing is, is a good one to get a nice discount on the clothing and accessories. So I, I have never been a serious enough bicyclist to really spend the money on the cycle clothing. I think one of the big things you want to get is something that's going to make you more comfortable. And that's going to be some padding on the, the bike liners. And they're not cheap for the better ones. You should probably, if you're going to be serious about doing a lot of biking in longer distances, especially in less than ideal conditions where it's really either really cold, really hot. This is one of those things where, yeah, you should get something more specific for your thing. It's not something you're going to be able to pick up from a regular department store. Go to an outdoor store, get something comfortable, get the cycling bib shorts, all that jazz. You're going to, you're going to want to spend the money because it's all about the comfort. And to save 25 to 50% off is something that you'll want. So you want all this padding here. You want to protect your gear, your natural gear. You want the butt padding on there. Trust me. <laughs> Take it from someone who doesn't bike a whole lot, but max styled at 100, let's see, 70 some miles a day when my, <laughs> with my bike trip down to LA from San Francisco. You will, your butt will thank you. Your butt and the rest of your body might potentially thank you for having the right clothing and gear. 40% off is pretty good to look into. So look into that. 
doesn't have to be the fanciest. So as far as the other bikes were concerned, I was looking at these and I was personally looking at two of them. I was thinking about a road bike that I think a lot of the biking industry, they're removing, they're moving away more from specific traditional road bikes as we think of it. And they're all doing something called gravel bikes, which if you haven't been riding in a while, like I have, I didn't know this was a big thing. Apparently it started in the 2000s or early 2000s where the road bikes now become gravel bikes it's like a fusion and the gravel bikes are basically what we should have been riding versus the mountain bikes we were riding when we were growing up at least for me in my 40s this was when i was considering this is more of a road bike so this is a quasi more of a road bike but could be a gravel bike and the big thing is that it allows you to put in just bigger tires that's what it is so i can put on bigger tires on here and switch it from a road bike to a gravel bike but this one I was I was looking at because this one has the Shimano 105s and I'm not super serious. This is like a better than, this is more like an event, amateur bike at around three grand, which is crazy to me that bikes are so expensive. But after riding different ones, you get it, right? If you can ride anywhere, seriously, you don't want to get a department store bike because those things just aren't made to last at all. <laughs> you want to spend at least a couple hundred dollars on a decent bike. Best is to buy used. Okay, you'll get the best deal. But then here we are. This is an amateur level. That's where I'm feeling. And 20% is not bad on top of that. So the best bang for the bucks that I've seen on here are still going to be co-op cycles. You look at the details and the componentry that is included with it, you, you get the better bang for the buck. And that's just it, with, even with the co-op cycles, co-op clothing, and co-op gear. They don't want to make the best in the category. They don't offer the best in the category, but they definitely give you a lot for your money. So this is primarily GR, Shimano GRX Gravel Road componentry on here you got the 810 series hydraulic disc brakes levers shimano stuff all name brand stuff grx drivetrains for two thousand dollars from a decent name brand and all these the frames everything they're all made in taiwan in the same factories as all the other fancy name brands just so you know okay so it's made by the same factories over there in taiwan which makes some of the best bikes in the world. And you get the componentry that is the same as the name brand stuff. So you're basically getting practically the same bike for the money. Now, as far as I know, I haven't seen any co-op bicycles that are carbon fiber that compete with the 7,000, 8,000 because REI co-op doesn't make 7,000 or $8,000 bikes. They don't make or sell. They don't resell anything in that category. For that, you're, you're going to have to go port to a more dedicated bike shop. But it's nice. Also, one thing that I saw is that they have, REI's come out with their own, in case you see here, $4,398 for a similar torque bike. Yeah, 85 newton meters. Okay. But this is mid-drive. So that's the difference. This is also Bosch. Again, big name brand. And this is a full-on torque sensor. Class 3. You're paying a lot more. So you don't get... What I'm saying is you don't get four times the value out of getting this really nice metal boost step through electric bike compared to the REI 1.1, 1 1.2 that I first mentioned. That's just my point in that. So what was I saying? Oh, yes. So yeah, you're getting a great deal. I'm going to show you the REI co-op. And then I'm going to end this video here. The electric dirt bike. They just introduced it. I think they're going to only offer it to REI members only until October. I just think that the only reason why they're doing that is because they didn't make that many of them yet. 
and maybe more of them are coming. You're going to try to see the demand for this to figure out the supply, how much supply they should do when they're finally available and out to the general public. But really, if you're going to get this bike, you're going to be want to you're going to want to be an REI member anyway because you get 10% back and that easily pays. Here you go. Just for members. The DRT or DIRT, short for DIRT, E3.1 electric mountain bike. So this will compete obviously with the other $5,000 electric bikes on here. It's going to punch above the weight class comparably with the ones that retail for more than this. So if you look at this, look at the geometry and everything. And the specs has got the same Bosch performance. This competes comparably with the five with the six thousand dollar bike that was that is currently on sale from Canada. All right, it's mid drive, eighty five newton meters, six hundred twenty five watt hours. It's got one hundred forty of so Rock Shocks Recon Silver Deluxe Ceram SX Eagles, twelve speed. It's got all the stuff that you expect. Of, of a more than $5,000 bike, but here for five grand. And it looks nice. I, I can't wait. I hope that we see this be on sale for 15% off or 20% off. We'll see. We'll see. To really make it really compete. Okay, so I got to say something. One last thing about the cycling thing. So I have tried this bike the top stone carbon 3 l bike it's not here right now what they did was they replaced it with another one so they had a sale last month and i went and tried it it's an awesome bike i'm really surprised okay this bike it's three thousand three hundred dollars on sale for I think it was 26 something. So I want to try it out. Unfortunately, at least the version that I got, the technical specifications were all off. What they said on here was completely different from what I got in some key categories. One is the bottom bracket and the crank set was not, it was not the GRX that was advertised. Now I see that this new version is advertised as Shimano GRX. It's great. But it was an FSA Gossamer Pro something, which actually is a little bit more expensive than a GRX. Unfortunately, from what I've heard and seen from people who really know their bikes, is that's a crappy set. It's going to crap out on me. So I was disappointed in that. Also, they advertised that they were the GRX 600 series brakes, and they were not. They were the GRX 400. The rims were, as advertised, they weren't awesome. They were decent for the money, but the tires were completely different as well. They were not beefy ones. They were much skinnier. I'll, I'll have details on that in this whole separate video about my experience with that. And REI had basically given me a different bike from what I purchased. Okay. And I didn't know that until I got home. So I, I called them. I was like, look, your components are different from what I bought. I thought I was getting this, but instead I got this. And they said, that's the way things are now. The specs and stuff are subject to change. <laughs> subject to change. Okay. They said, I suggest you call, to call Cannondale, see what they say, and of course we'll take care of you. Ride the bike, try it out. If it's not going to work out for you, bring it back. I'm like, fair enough. So I call Cannondale. They have a website. <laughs> they have a website with your information. Cannondale. Okay, so I give them a call. No one answers. There's no answer. I, they allow you to leave a voicemail. They used to have a phone number on here. I think I had to go to, to the help center or something like that. And I, I gave them. Someone told me what the phone number was. It's, it's something basic. So Cannondale is obviously not their own name brand. They're not what they used to be. They're, I guess they're now cycling sports group. But anyway, they they filed for bankruptcy really early. I, the stuff I didn't know, okay. I grew up knowing Cannondale was a premium brand that I couldn't afford as a kid growing up or even in college. Okay? I had hand-me-down used bikes that were not this. But I've seen Cannondale. I know they're really great. 
but apparently they made some bad business decisions in the past trying to produce their own, whatchamacallit, trial motorcycle or something like that, and they failed. Okay, so filed for bankruptcy. They got restructured, repurchased, or something. Anyway, so I couldn't reach anybody. Tried calling every day for three days. Didn't reach anybody. And then finally, someone on Reddit told me, look, uh, you might want to try just emailing them. So I did. So I emailed them. And they told me that, yeah, basically, this is what our component tree is. And yeah, this is what it is. And the only thing that we can do for you is if you want to submit a warranty replacement. That's it. And that means that I send the bike in or, or components or something in there and wait until they got parts in stock. And from what I heard, it could be months, even a whole year, I heard from some people. So I said, forget that. So I just went back to REI, I returned the bike. They completely understood. And that was my experience with Cannondale. So hopefully that's not going to be the case with some other stuff. So my advice is that if you're very particular about the componentry of your bikes, and I was a little bit more particular because it was a $3,000 some dollar bike that I expected this that level. Okay, granted, the stuff that they replaced was supposed to be roughly on the same level as the GRX component tree that was on there. But they even had typos on their own website. And I thought, that's just really sloppy. And the fact that I can't even call someone for support, that's really sad. So that makes something like the co-op cycle something a little bit more favorable and attractive to someone like me. I just wish that they would have more higher end stuff. Like I wish they would do the ADV, maybe a 3.3 bike that is carbon fiber, because we all know they're getting it from the same factories anyways. Hopefully that they consider that and then I could just get an REI co-op bike and then deal with REI specifically directly for all my issues and concerns. Of course, they're going to have lifetime warranty on the stuff like that too. That is my experience with trying out a Cannondale Topstone Carbon 3L. Not this one specifically. It's the same model. I, I guess this must be the 2023 model. Maybe I got the 2022 model, the end of it. But overall, it, it was a good bike otherwise. It's just not what I paid for. At this price, it's a lot better. I think, actually, REI has the lowest price on the Cannondale Topstone Carbon 3L right now. And what was special about this is it has this kingpin suspension here. So you actually have a real like rear suspension with this, okay, without springs and everything. And this bike was lightweight. It was like 20 pounds and change, the one that I tested. So I imagine this is roughly the same too. So this could be one that you consider. Just know that the sizing, get one size lower than what you would normally ride on a different brand. So if you normally ride a large, get the medium, etc. An extra large is probably going to be for giants. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that's my experience with that. Okay, so once again, to sum up, the REI sale is going on through September 4th for a lot of things that are on sale here. And you can get that, you know, 20% off on one REI outlet item over here. Oh, even though it says one, I have found personally that if you just separate a different order sometimes it works i didn't try it this time you think it's only one item right but it's only one item per that order i think if you try again with the coupon code sometimes it works again so i remember th there was a period in time where it's like oh you already used your code i don't know if they're like that again now someone out there try it out let me know I haven't shopped the REI outlet part portion yet. Yeah, I was just looking at the main deals. There's some good stuff here. With the additional 20% off, it does sometimes, it does make it a really good deal on some of these things. I've definitely gotten some good deals on some bike clothing that I will be trying out later. Mostly winter clothing because I bought it in the summer. That seems to be the better time to buy when it's off season. So don't forget to put in that code. Okay. And if you do forget to put in the code, sometimes you chat up with customer service tell you, hey, look, I made a little bit of a mistake. Forgot to put the code in on the item. A lot of times they'll take care of you, even through the chat. But it's better not to have to go through that hassle. 
Okay, that's it for this video. Let me know what you end up getting. I'm really curious on the things that you guys find and try out because, I mean, there are literally thousands of items, thousands, 3,047 products, and it's going to be a long video to try to go over some of these things. I think this is long enough. All right, thanks for watching. Please use my link up above, down below, wherever in my description if you're purchasing anything. It doesn't cost you anything extra. It just helps me produce more videos like this in case you are interested in some of these things. And if you want me to go in deeper dive in some of these other products, I'd be happy to purchase it and try it out and give you my thoughts on what I think or at least point you in the right direction. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next one. And go outside.